XGF cheated on me the second day after we became official. My 21M life has been in a whirlwind for the past two weeks now to say the least. Luckily, we were only together for three months but everything felt so right and I was so happy with her 19F but the woman I thought she was never really existed, and that's what hurts me so badly. She told me that this guy was her gay friend and she talked to him about our relationship and looked for advice, so imagine my surprise when I look in her phone and find a video of him ducking her without a condom and has come on her back literally the second day after we became exclusive. Guys a ducking broke me, so many ducking lies I had been fed by her and I believed them all because I had faith in her. She literally introduced me to her family not 24 hours after she betrayed me in the most evil way and I still can't even grasp why she did it, it literally makes no sense at all. I'm more attractive than him, I have a better body than him, she told me I was the best thing that ever happened to her and that no one has ever made her feel like I did and that she couldn't imagine living without me. Literally he only wanted her for her vagina, but I wanted all of her, she was the only girl I desired. I was the first person to ever give her an orgasm, she told me that no guy had ever given her head before and sx with me was unlike anything she ever had experienced. I always put her pleasure above mine every time. I have since broken up with her and for a while she begged me to take her back and I really considered it but the girl I was in love with never really existed, she died the night I found everything. I am just so happy I found out when I did, I cried every day for a week straight but I can't imagine how I'd feel if it came to light a year later. Now I just feel so lonely, and I miss the intimacy and having someone to love. I guess my question to her is, if I was the best thing to happen to you, and you couldn't imagine life without me, why did you betray me in the most evil way? And why did you continue to betray me every day with all the little lies? I can't imagine ever doing this to someone I claim to love and I pray it never happens to me again, and I pray I can finally heal and find someone who is faithful and honest with me. Be glad it was only 3 months, she was not the person you thought she was. Time to focus on yourself. Run. She doesn't love you. Doesn't respect you. Doesn't value you. Grieve, cry, scream and go through the process. But you don't deserve this. Run, my friend. And learn to love yourself. I've cut all contact with her and want nothing to do with her anymore. It's just hard for me to grasp how everything can feel so perfect and it all crashed down in one night. My brother be thankful it was only a handful of months. Still though, you having to see that, when you thought she was the one very devastating to the least. You deserve better king. Do what the other commenter said. Breathe and feel what you must and then move on. You're young and deserve someone who will respect you as much as you respect them. She was young and dumb and her actions have shown that what she does doesn't match up to what she says. She may have told you all the sweetest things but it's obvious that it didn't matter that much. That said, take it as a learning experience and move forward. You don't need to be with someone right away nor do you need to wait a long ass time till you start dating again, do it on your own time and I'm sure the right person will come along. I guess my question to her is, if I was the best thing to happen to you, and you couldn't imagine life without me, why did you betray me in the most evil way? You just learned this person is a seasoned liar. I doubt much of anything she told you is actually true. This is a good thing. You didn't actually have anything special with her. You just had a mirage that she sold you. But the girl I was in love with never really existed. This is the truth. Find someone with whom you can build something authentic. Three months is nothing. Some people are just hardwired to cheat and lie and destroy everything around them. They feed on that drama. Don't let that toxicity into your life and cut it out as soon as you find out who they really are. You got it right there at the beginning. The person you built up in your head doesn't exist, period. The type of people who blow up relationships like that emo secretly hate themselves, 
believe that they are scum who don't deserve love and go out of their way to prove it when it looks like things may be getting serious. I don't know what messed her up so badly that she would sabotage herself and hurt you so much. But she is not someone who should date again until she has had a ton of therapy. I'm so sorry that she did this to you. It was wrong. Big hug. And that's why she's an ex, and it should stay that way. Plenty more fish in the sea. I'm really sorry that happened to you. You seem like a really great guy and it is most definitely her loss. She probably has been used to cheating and she didn't even think about of it. People like that are really good at telling people what they think they want to her. Truth is you did the right thing and I hope you find someone better. Anyone would be better than that. You would think someone who never really existed would be easier to let go but it isn't. I caught my lover doing something the other night and we talked for a few minutes and I've let it go and have yet to bring it up. Currently they are passes out drunk next to me at 6 o'clock with their phone playing videos and I can't even bring myself to go through it. It makes me sick. But I know I'm in trouble. We've been together for a few years now and live together. I don't have anywhere I can go even if I tried to leave. I like why people do the things they do for sure but at least I know I'm a good person, you're too. I really hope we can get through this and come out clean still. Story sucks dude. Especially because you had to see it. Not alone though. I fell hard for this girl a few years ago. We started dating but weren't exclusive. We met up for a date on Valentine's Day for lunch because she said she already had plans for dinner. She said it was just a friend and at our lunch date she asked me to be her valentine. A couple weeks later I find out she had sex with her friend after the valentine's dinner date. She said she regretted it, but that was pretty much the nail in the coffin for me. Sucks cause I really liked her. But the best part is, I met my wife 5 months later and I'm so glad it turned out this way. It might hurt now but you'll meet someone who is better for you. It had nothing to do with you, or anything you did or did not do. She made a selfish decision, hurt you, and lied about it selfishly. She made a promise and broke it. And now she is paying for it. Cheating doesn't usually have a reason. I sought one for a long time after I found my ex-fiancé's burner phone almost a decade ago. It takes a kind of selfishness many of us just don't have to cheat on someone you care about. And looking for logic in it makes sense, humans want logic to make pain make sense, but you can't find it, and it's best to make peace with the idea that you just had an encounter with a selfish person. She wasn't compatible with what you wanted. And you will heal. Unfortunately it just takes time to feel better and try to trust someone again. But good people are out there. I'm with a better person now myself. I have confidence you will find the same if you take care of yourself now. The woman I thought she was never really existed. This is the lesson. Be very cautious in your thinking processes. Have you ever heard of the placebo effect? We can be given a sugar pill and because we are told it will help our health, we willingly believe it and it actually seems to work. This girl was your placebo, you wanted her to be something she wasn't. I'm sorry you are hurting. Older and wiser. But don't feel too bad. As the song says. Everybody plays the fool, sometime there's no exception to the rule it may be factual, may be cruel, sometime but everybody plays the fool. I've played the fool, he's played the fool, she's played the fool, you've played the fool, everybody's played the fool. You're only human. You will survive. I have a better body than him, she told me I was the best thing that ever happened to her and that no one has ever made her feel like I did and that she couldn't imagine living without me. Literally he only wanted her for her vagina, but I wanted all of her, she was the only girl I desired. And that's where you messed up, mate. You wanted to wife up a garden tool. Yeah probably just some bi dude playing her like she does you. Toxicity usually goes full circle. Hey, good on you for crying and taking the time to feel the hurt. In my experience most guys stuff it down and never deal with it, 
causing it to become a sort trauma slash resentment combo that never goes away. No one is ever ready to find out shit like that. It always hurts, but you are doing the right thing, feeling it, acknowledging it, and letting it pass.